What is going on guys? Today I bring you yet another Destiny video pumping them out daily for you guys. Hope you appreciate that. Now yesterday I uploaded a video basically showcasing to you guys what I believe is the best weapon to use for the challenge modes that are here with the weekly featured raid which is the Vault of Glass. We have Templar and we have Atheon. More so towards Atheon though as that's the one people, well most people are asking about which weapon shall I use, which weapon shall I choose um, and I told you guys what I thought was the best weapon that being the Sleeper Simulant. Now with my loadout I can get 12 shots with this actual weapon and I had many comments asking me how I actually did this now today I'm going to show you guys exactly how you can do this on your character excluding a hunter because Bungie hates us hunters but before we get into that if you guys do enjoy the video leaving a like is much much appreciated also if you want to be in the chance of winning my weekly emblem giveaway simply leave a comment down below okay so I'll show you guys my class setup I use uh, for as a demonstration, I'm showing you guys on my Titan. Now, as you can see, I'll show you actually everything I use. The primary I use is the Genesis Chain because I absolutely love this flipping weapon. I mean, it just wrecks faces. Underrated, not that many people really use it. I mean, they know about it, but they don't really use it. I think it's fucking great. Uh, then I use just any high impact sniper rifle to be honest. It ain't always a 1000 yards there, but anything that's high impact legendary, I will use and I've got it in my actual um, inventory. But the main weapon to use, the exotic to take in, in my opinion, is this right here. The sleeper simulant. Because this thing just absolutely tears. Okay, yes, you have, you run the risk of killing yourself a couple of times. Like I did yesterday. One run, I killed myself about five fucking times. Absolutely crazy. But we were failing a lot, messing about and shit. So, yeah. But it still just does the maximum damage in the least amount of time, which is what you want. You want maximum DPS, you really do. And the Sleeper Simulant gives you that. I mean, you can easily, if you're running a team, uh, obviously one person holds a relic, but if the other five are using the Sleeper Simulant, you can easily kill Atheon within one teleport phase run. And you really can. You guys will see it uh, in a quick second uh, in, the, in the background. Now... What I use to actually get 12 bullets with this thing, because the standard actually, you only get 9. Uh, so I'll show you guys the actual armor I'm using. My helmet, I always look for a helmet when doing raids where shields start immediate recovery after you pick up an orb. Well, that's actually really important because you lose a lot of health and usually, more time than ever, there's plenty of orbs lying about. So if you pick one up, it actually starts regenerating your health. This is actually more important though when you're doing quarters to end raid rather than the Vault of Glass because in quarters end raid, unless... Um, you're near the chalice, so you've got the chalice, your health doesn't regen. So shield start immediate recovery after all pickup is really important there. But I just use this when I'm doing any raid, and plus it's intellect discipline as well, which is what I mainly go for. Gauntlet, as you can see, I'm using here increased reload speed with fusion rifles. Because if you didn't know, the sleeper simulant hasn't got the fastest reload, I'm not going to lie to you guys. It reloads pretty slow, so you want to find gauntlets, which actually does increase your reload speed of fusion rifles. Because it is classed, believe it or not. As a fusion rifle. So yep, yeah, that's the way it works. And these actually do work indeed. Now the chest piece I'm using, which is actually the main piece of my kit right here, is actually what you want to get that 12 bullets or the 12 shots with this actual sleep stimulant. You want that perk right there. Heavy ammo carries more uh, ammo for heavy weapons. And it gives you 12 shots with your sleep stimulant. Now there's actually a little bit of an issue here because with your hunter, you actually do not get a chest piece from year 2 or 3 which gives you extra uh, ammo for heavy weapons. I don't know why the fuck they don't uh, include it. I don't know why the fuck Bungie have left us hunters out. But it, you just don't get one. You do not get a chest piece unless you want to use the year 1 Lucky Raspberry which is an absolute piss take in my opinion. So yes if you're running the hunter I'm afraid the maximum uh, shots you can get with your sleeper simulant is 9. Now... Other chest piece, obviously with a uh, Titan, we've got the Twilight Garrison, which offer this actual carry more ammo for heavy weapons perk. We also got the Armamentorium, and that is it actually. The Crest of Alpha Loopy for the Titan does not offer this actual extra ammo perk for heavy weapons. For the Warlock, we have the uh, Alchemist Raiment, this offers this perk. The Purifier Robes offer this perk. The Starfire Protocol does too, but the Void Bang Vestments and the Heart of Proxic Fire do not 
off of this perk. So if you want to get 12 shots on your Warlock, the three chest pieces to go for are the Alchemist Raiment, the Purifier Robes and the Starfire Protocol. Anything else will not give you this perk. Now I've actually tried pairing it with legs that actually offer increased ammunition for fusion rifles. I actually have some here which you guys will see me actually putting these both on and using a heavy ammo synth and I still only get 12 shots. So this will not increase your fusion rifle ammunition for the sleeper simulant which is a bit of a shame but it is what it is now if you are running a titan i would say to you guys use the defender subclass and use weapons of light pop that at the back of the platform where you stand to shoot atheon and you do even extra damage at certain points of the one phase run we did i was doing over 220,000 damage per shot with the sleepy simulant to Aethon and you guys will see that in the background now but yes guys this is definitely in my opinion the best setup you can use for the challenge mores within the water glass I mean it makes things a lot easier and if you get it down you can like I said you can easily do Aethon within one run and we've done that twice now I've still got my wallet to run later which I will do and I guarantee you guys we will do it in one phase run using the sleepy simulant because that's how we do shit but guys I hope you enjoyed the video I hope it helped you out uh, thanks as always though for stopping by if you're new here and enjoy the content, do press that subscribe button as I do upload that daily Destiny shit. Press that bell button, that's that subscribe button to turn on them email notifications so you never miss one of my videos. And as always guys, I will see you on that next one.